Hey everybody, it's Tuesday. I speak about again from the book of Tobit, and this time mentions his wife, Hosanna, and she worked for hire as a weaving cloth. Mm -hmm. And when, anyway, she returned the goods back to the owners, it says here in our reading today, and, and they would pay her. Anyway, she finished her cloth and sent it back to the owners. They paid her a full salary, and, and they also gave her a young goat for the table. On entering my house, the goat began to bleat. I called my wife and said, where did this goat come from? Perhaps it was stolen. Give it back to its owners. We have no right to eat stolen food. But she said to me, I was given to me as a bonus over and above my wages. Boy, Tobit has a strict uh, sensitivity to be, being honest. You probably can't see this, but there's a little story here with a $5 bill. I'd like to read what it says here. The $5 bill was placed by a door and said, I'm sorry that we sold your wind chime. Our mother died and liked butterflies, so my sister took it to put by our window. I'm sorry, this is the only money I have. Please do not be mad at us. I don't know how someone could be mad at that little boy and his little sister, hmm? losing their mom and she liked wind chimers, but he did in his conscience did his best to pay back the bill, and even if it may not be enough, but that's all he had. And so Tobit had the sensitivity of being honest, not taking anything for granted. So we too hope we're honest, um, not stealing, not shoplifting. Look today, people rob stores as if they have it coming to them. No, the poverty or struggle is not an excuse for robbing. There's places to get, there's always places to get help. As I said here, we help, we feed. So as you know, it's just, it's just to me, it's just an excuse, it's poor. Stealing is never, Never a right thing to do. So honesty, as Tobit was, and his little boy and his sister was as well. May we be, you know, authentic and live honest lives. God bless you.